Hi, I'm Larry Puckett, the DCC guy. Today, we have a return visit from Nick's Trains. They've sent me one of these new decoder buddies that have a new design feature about them that I think you'll be uh, excited about. It'll save you a little bit of ice drain and trouble. And while we're talking about new products, let's take a look at the new Soundtracks Current Keeper 2. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started, I want to ask you to take a second to subscribe. Click on the subscribe box, and when that comes up, click on the little bell right next to it, and click all. Well, I guess you're wondering why I'm suddenly doing all of these videos about DCC instead of working on the uh, gas works and other things on the modules. Well, the reason is spring is here in the southeast, uh, buds are popping everywhere, flowers are up, and the wife has me out in the backyard uh, cleaning up after the winter storms and all of that. So I've been busy outside and haven't had time to really do a lot of uh, modeling work here in uh, in, the lay in the layout room, either on the modules or on the Piedmont Southern itself. So, you know, for the next week or so, we're probably going to be doing a number of uh, DCC-related and wiring-related videos. So stick with me on this. We'll get back to that gas works as soon as uh, things have quieted down outside a little bit. So let's go ahead and get started now with taking a look at what we've got from Nick's Trains and also what's new from Soundtracks. Okay, what I have here is an assortment of the uh, various decoder buddies uh, along with a new one. So this is the uh, first decoder buddy that Nick came out with, and this is the version 5 that uh, takes advantage of a lot of the new features and functions uh, available on the uh, version 5 uh, low sound decoders. Then right here is, uh, it was called the Tiny for a while, I think it's referred to now as the Mini. So it's a much smaller version of uh, the decoder buddy that can fit in a lot of tight spaces that these larger ones can't. However, it does not have a lot of the other features like this wiring interface that's available on the larger versions. Uh, however, you know, you'll be seeing this in an upcoming uh, video on uh, how to install decoders in uh, E-units, lifelike E-units. But what I want to show you though now, I'm going to move these aside, uh, this is the newest version that Nick has produced. And let me see if I can zoom in any closer. Okay, there we are. Now, just as a reminder, these are designed for easy installation of 21-pin style decoders. You just pop this 21-pin interface on top of these uh, pins that stick up here, and you've got an instant installation. And the great thing about it is, you know, it's like a typical circuit board that it has contacts here for your track power and your speakers, and those are duplicated on each end. So if you wanted two speakers, you could put one up here and one back here. And then all of the other functions, the wired functions, uh, are taken care of here on this little circuit board. And this guy here is removable, assuming I can get it off. It's brand new. Okay. So there is that little guy. So you can do all of your wiring here, and it's got uh, application, or it's got uh, connectors for up to, I think, 12 different uh, hardwired connections that you can make, uh, including your headlights, forward and reverse. So it's a, it makes it very simple. You can do all your wiring here without fear of destroying your circuit board. And then just plug everything in after you're done. Assuming I can get it lined up right. Okay, so it just pops right on like that. Same thing with the decoder. Now, what's new about this one? Well, one of the things that's uh, been available previously on the, um, on the uh, uh, decoder buddy here, as you can see, are these uh, connections for uh, stay alive devices. So here is the uh, U plus connection and the ground connection. So it makes it very easy to install a, a, a current keeper or uh, a keep alive or any other type of two wire uh, stay alive device. However, 
when it came to installing uh, these on low sound decoders, uh, I, as I've told you in the past, there was a problem, there is a problem in the electronics. These decoders do not like to have a uh, conventional two-wire type or, or stay alive device attached to them. Instead, Loaksound ESU uses these uh, three-wire stay alives. So you have the red and the black are for your, uh, your plus and your minus, and then this uh, white wire is a, a, a control wire. And it allows the uh, software to be turn, uh, to turn off the current keeper when you're doing programming. And that avoids doing any damage at all. The problem is trying to figure out where on one of these 21 pin decoders or 18 pin decoders or even the, uh, the larger uh, uh, direct type decoder, board decoder, where you install all these wires. It's always been a pain in the neck. However, that's what Nick has added here. So if you look right here on the bottom, it gives you the layout of these contacts on the surface. Okay, so there's all of these contacts here that you wire to, and then the respective identification for each one is located right here. So you've got your, your U plus, your ground, and various auxiliary 11 and 12 connections, or the wired connections for those. But the neat thing right here, if you see, there is a little contact right there labeled W, and I'll try to hold that a little closer. That W is where you install that white control wire from the uh, Loaksound ESU power packs. So now you'll be able to safely install a three-wire uh, power pack stay alive device uh, with uh, your 21-pin decoders using the Nix Trains decoder buddy. So I think that's a major step forward in the process because in the past, even though the earlier decoder buddies had the uh, U-plus and the ground connections, they did not have a provision for this white control wire. But now that's available. So look for these, the newest version. It's a version 5 decoder buddy with the provision for attaching that white control wire here. And I'll remind you that uh, DCC Concepts I showed in a previous video, and I'll try to find the link to that and put it up above here uh, above me. Um, but <clears throat> DCC Concepts is now making a, uh, a stay alive device with this three wire connection. So you could presumably use the less expensive DCC Concepts stay alive instead of the more expensive power pack from ESU. Now, one thing I just saw, Brian um, Vianco on the Streamline Backshop website, and that's SBS, the numeral 4, DCC.com. So it's SBS for DCC.com. Uh, has some information about the new Loaksound decoders that are going to be releasing uh, this year. And one of them is, an, uh, is a standard circuit board, you know, similar to this. The, the, type of circuit board you're used to seeing in Atlas and Atherin and everybody else uses now uh, the uh, uh, direct type installation decoder. So what Loaksound is coming out with is a version of that direct circuit board that has a built-in stay alive device. It has six capacitors built into the circuit board. And the price that I've seen on that is about $120. And that's the eBay price, not the MSRP. So for 120 bucks, you'll be able to get a Loaksound decoder with a Stay Alive device installed in it. So all you have to do is pop it in your locomotive, wire it up, and you're ready to go. So those are some neat things coming down the track. And as soon as one of those is available, I'll try to grab one. Now, the other thing I wanted to talk about today or show you is the new Current Keeper 2 from Soundtracks. Now basically, this is the original current keeper. You can see, whoops, sorry. This is the original current keeper. It has one, two, three, four, five uh, capacitors in here. And it's good, you know, for keeping power up for about 10 seconds if you run into some uh, dirty track 
or going across unpowered frogs. So 10 seconds, you know, it's a lot more than you need. You probably can get away with under two seconds, but that's what you get. Now what they've basically done is, if you look here, there are one, two, three, four, five capacitors in this as well. So the folks at Soundtracks have basically taken their old current keeper and wrapped it around to give you a smaller uh, package using the same number of capacitors, probably very similar if not the same electronics. They've just simply redesigned the circuit board so that it makes it a lot easier to get this installed in other locations than this much longer uh, original current keeper design. So these are available uh, readily now in the marketplace. I think they're around 25 bucks um, at, uh, through various uh, dealers on eBay and some of the others. Um, I think the MSRP is $29.95, something like that. But so you're looking at uh, somewhere around $25 to $30 for the new Current Keeper 2 uh, on the marketplace. So that's about all I have for today. Uh, I've got to get back out in the yard and uh, clean up some more branches and debris and make a dump run. Uh, but on Friday, you can look forward to another video from the DCC guy. This time, I'm going to be going back and taking a look at various things you can do with a tortoise switch machine and the, uh, the two single pole double throw switches that are provided uh, as part of the uh, tortoise design because those things, you can use them for a number of different purposes, and I'll show you how you can wire those up and install them on your model railroad. So, take it easy, have a good week, and we'll see you here on Friday. Bye now.